What's up YouTube? This is Sean from Broadsword Media. I was once again 3 and 1 in my divisional round predictions this year, just like last year. Grand total, if you count the year before though, 8 and 4 as I went 2 and 2 the year before. Just like last year, this year so far I'm 7 and 1 in my predictions. 4 and 0 in the wildcard round, 3 and 1 in the divisional round. Last year I totally screwed up in my championship round predictions and Super Bowl predictions, so hopefully I do better this time. So for the AFC Championship, we have the 15-2 New England Patriots against the 13-5 Pittsburgh Steelers. It's amazing how since Big Ben's been on the Steelers and Tom Brady's been on the Patriots, how, both, how dominant both these teams have been, yet this is only the second time they faced each other in the playoffs with Brady versus Big Ben. The last time they faced was actually Ben Roethlisberger's rookie year when they went 15-1 and lost in the AFC Championship at home to the 14-2 Patriots who went on to win their third Super Bowl in four years. This is going to be an exciting AFC Championship. These two teams have been, two, have been among two of the most dominant teams since the 2000s. Between them, there's a grand total of six Super Bowl victories with three Super Bowl losses. So a, to a grand total of nine Super Bowls between these two teams. Since the 2000s. The Patriots are hoping to win to go to their ninth Super Bowl. Steelers are hoping to win to go to also go to their ninth Super Bowl, actually. They're both trying to get to their ninth Super Bowl, which is incredible. That would be a record, indeed. A record is gonna be broken here because the most Super Bowls any team has gone to is eight. This is gonna be a good, close game, but I think the Patriots are gonna win. They are a more complete team. The Steelers have one of the greatest offenses in the league, and their defense has improved a lot over the years. As for the Patriots, they just have a more complete team. So I think it's gonna be the Patriots beating the Steelers. If I was to give a score, probably about like, maybe like 34 to 31 or something. It's gonna be a high scoring game, I think. It'll be pretty close. Maybe it'll be a lower scoring game, maybe like 25 to 20 or something. You know, it's possible. I mean, the Steelers just barely beat the Chiefs 18 to 16, so we'll see. Now we go to the NFC Championship. We got the now 12 and 6 Green Bay Packers traveling to the now 12 and 5 Atlanta Falcons. The last time these two teams faced in the playoffs was 2010 when Aaron Rodgers and his number 6 seed Packers upset Matt Ryan and his number 1 seed Falcons in a divisional round on their way to winning the Super Bowl against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So actually we could have another rematch of that matchup if uh, the Steelers and Packers win. We could also have a rematch of a Super Bowl match from 20 years ago if what I predict is going to happen. The Packers and the Patriots played each other in the Super Bowl in 1996. Brett Favre's Packers beat Drew Bledsoe's Patriots. Of course, it was the MVP of that game was actually the kick returner. So this year, between the Packers and Falcons, I'm actually gonna pick the Packers. I think, I expect this to be a very good matchup. It will probably be just as difficult a game as they had against the Cowboys. Um, although the Packers are pretty much ahead the whole time. So I think at the, the Packers will probably have to come behind in some parts of the game instead of being comfortably ahead for most of the game and winning a very close one. It will be a close game because the Falcons offense cannot be underestimated. That is one hell of a good offense. But the Packers have just a great overall team. The Falcons do have some key defensive players, but their defense as a whole, uh, as a whole unit, isn't isn't the strongest. It's like the it's like the Raiders. Khalil Mack is an amazing defensive threat, but the defense as a whole is poor. Falcons have some great defensive components to their team, but their defense as a whole is not the best. Packers are great both offensively and defensively. And not just that, they ended the regular season on a six game winning streak. So, being that they won the wild card round and divisional round, they're currently, to count that, on an eight game winning streak. And I don't think they're cooling off or anything at all. I think the Packers head into Atlanta and win a nice close matchup down south. We'll see what happens. We have to see if the AFC Championship and the NFC Championship go as I predict or if they go completely different. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my upcoming Super Bowl prediction next week.